Hello guys. So before we start this section and the coming sections, you need to understand the difference between ArcGIS server, ArcGIS online, ArcGIS online public account, organization account, standard level, premium level, ArcGIS enterprise, ArcGIS portal. You need to understand the difference between all these terminologies because understanding this difference is critical to be able to know and differentiate between what kind of portal or what kind of application you are using and also will help you to understand everything that we will describe in the coming sections so most of the people that i talked to they have a confusion between what is arcgis server what is arcgis portal what is arcgis online so we will go through these slides in this video to describe the difference so we will start by describing what is arcgis server so as you know if you have arcgis desktop or if you have arcgis pro you are using your maps and your software on your local machine you are not sharing this data with anyone if you create a file geodatabase if you create a personal geodatabase if you have any shape files as we saw in the previous videos we used it on our local machine and then after that there is a need to make a centralized place that can host this maps uh, using arc sde or spatial data engine on a server that several people can connect to this sde so they can contribute and use the same map and also arc sde allow you to host uh, a large amount of data and the way to make uh, several people using arcgis desktop or arcgis pro contribute and use the same data on arc sde server is connected through a network so for example if you are work on organization that they have arcgis desktop or arcgis pro you will see that you can connect to an arc sde database engine uh, using your network and connect to this database so multiple people can work on the same data and the same map and then came the need for sharing this data over the internet so as you see here right now we have on the right side right here we have our network which contain arcgis server and arc sde and our network so people can connect to this maps and data using their arcgis desktop or arcgis pro and also can access the maps through the internet or through the network connecting to arcgis server so arcgis server is basically a way to host the maps so people can access it over an http protocol over the internet and this is esri product to allow this to happen so right now we have our network on the right side with all this infrastructure we have arcsde we have arcgis server that connected to a network and this network is opened to the internet so people can access this data on arcsde or they can access the maps that is hosted on arcgis server through the internet and using rest services and if you want to connect to any rest services you will see that you have a website name slash arcgis slash rest slash services so when you see this url right here you know that you are connected to rest services that hosted on arcgis server somewhere on a network that is connected to the internet and this is the way you can connect to arcgis server also you can connect to arcgis server using arcgis desktop or arcgis pro and arcgis server is just a hosting server to host your maps so it doesn't have a ui but you can manage it through arcgis server manager and this is the url for the server manager so if you have arcgis server hosted on your network and you are the manager on the server you need to go to this url to manage your server you can publish services here you can manage security web adapter connect uh, different services to the same arcgis server and there's so many things that you can do in arcgis server manager that we will create a separate video for that so now you know how the infrastructure work for arc sde and arcgis server over a network and how it's connected to the internet so people over the internet can use it and then the cloud era started and Esri created their own infrastructure that hosts ArcGIS server so people can access it through ArcGIS online. So in this slide, you will see that we have the same structure on the right side, but it's hosted on Esri servers and they call it ArcGIS online. So basically ArcGIS online is a way to manage and create maps that is hosted on ArcGIS server managed by Esri itself. So Esri created an infrastructure and they decided let's make the public have access to the servers so they can create maps and share it and they can have their own ArcGIS server that they can connect to and they can work on. So you don't need to buy ArcGIS server in order to host your maps online. You can use ArcGIS online using Esri Cloud service 
to host your maps and you can connect to ArcGIS online using desktop or pro or you can connect to the maps hosted on ArcGIS server right here using the rest services or you can open ArcGIS online and you will see all the data right here and you can create your maps right here so that is what ArcGIS online and that's the difference between ArcGIS server and ArcGIS online ArcGIS server is the product that hosts the maps ArcGIS Online is the way that you can access the servers on Esri Cloud service. So you have a shared ArcGIS server and ArcSDE at Esri that anyone can access it using their public account. So anyone with ArcGIS Online public account, they will have the ability to use the service for free. And one of the things to keep in mind that Esri always add new functionalities to their ArcGIS Online. So the functionalities that they add or any new updates they add to ArcGIS Online, it's available for anyone who have ArcGIS Online public account. And using your browser, you can go to www.arcgis.com and you will be able uh, to connect to uh, this infrastructure here using your public account. Then Esri created something called ArcGIS Online Organization Account, which allow you to create account but will be specifically for your organization. So if I am an organization and I need to host maps and data that will be privately owned by me, I don't want to share it with anyone other than the organization members, you can buy ArcGIS Online Organization Account and you will have your own dedicated URL, as you see right here, that will connect you to ArcGIS Online Organization Account. So you can manage your organization, you can create your data, you can host your maps, you can use analysis and some other functionalities that doesn't exist in the public account. But mainly, if you want to have your own dedicated place where you have members in your organization that is not going to be shared with the public, you need to buy ArcGIS Online Organization Account. And on your organization account, you still have the same functionalities that everyone else have. So if I have my own organization account and you have your own organization account, when Esri do any updates for ArcGIS Online, I will be able to see these updates and you will be able to see these updates as well. So right now there is two types of ArcGIS Online organization account. The first one is a standard and the second one is premium. The difference between them is just about if you have your own dedicated servers or not. So let me show you what that means. If you have a standard organization account and I have a standard organization account, then that means that we might be sharing the same server at Esri where you might have a lot of data and you might have a lot of traffic working on the server and that will affect the performance for my access. So when you have a standard organization account, you might see some bad performance at some times based on how many people is using ArcGIS Online at that time. And that when comes ArcGIS Online premium account. So the premium account is for organizations that need better performance and they need to make sure that the performance for their data and connection is consistent and in good condition and the traffic for accessing their account is not shared with anyone. They will need to buy ArcGIS premium organization account. So the difference between standard, me and you, we are sharing the same server. If you have premium account, that means you have your own server and no one else is sharing it with you. So now you understand what is ArcGIS server, what is ArcGIS online public account, what is ArcGIS online organization account, and the two types is standard and premium. So all of them are hosted on Esri cloud service. So that means it's managed by Esri, the security is managed by Esri, the servers is managed by Esri, and the data is hosted at Esri servers. So that means Esri have control over your data and over your security. And that will bring us to the next need for some organizations, which is ArcGIS Enterprise. So basically ArcGIS Enterprise is buying the entire infrastructure. You buy ArcGIS Server, you buy ArcSDE, and you buy ArcGIS Portal inside a package called Enterprise and adding this enterprise or hosted on your servers. So you have the ability to control the security and you have the ability to control the privacy. And that is the need for most of the organizations that they need to make sure that their data is not hosted somewhere where they don't have control over it. Let's say, for example, like military or very sensitive organizations that they need to make sure that their data is not hosted at any place 
that they don't have control over, they need to buy ArcGIS Enterprise so they have control over the privacy and the security of their data. And ArcGIS Enterprise have versions like ArcGIS Desktop or ArcGIS Pro. So that means right here at the bottom, any functionalities that Esri add is not going to be given to you for free. You have to buy the new version. So if you have ArcGIS Enterprise 10.6 and then Esri released 10.8, if you want to have the functionalities that exist in 10.8, you need to upgrade and buy ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8. And ArcGIS Enterprise will be very private for the members of this company or this organization that own ArcGIS Enterprise and can be accessed through the internet or can be accessed through a network based on how the company will structure this infrastructure right here. Maybe they can give their members access through the internet or maybe they need more security and they only give access through their own internal private network. And when you buy ArcGIS Enterprise, you have your own portal. And portal is the way to manage your maps and details very similar to when you connect to ArcGIS.com, but here you have your own portal. So this is the URL for your portal. You have your uh, company or your organization URL slash ArcGIS slash portal. So when you see this URL, you know right away that this is ArcGIS Enterprise. You can access it through the internet or you can access it through a network after you've been added as a member to this organization. So that is the difference between ArcGIS Online Public Account and ArcGIS Online Organization Account and ArcGIS Enterprise. So the last thing you need to know is how can you know the difference? As you see right here, the first thing you need to look at is the URL. If you have an ArcGIS Public Account, you will see that the URL started with ArcGIS.com and then slash home slash index. That means that this is ArcGIS Online Public Account. If you have an organization account, you will see that the URL have your organization name .maps.arcgis.com. So when you see a URL like this, you know that this is ArcGIS Online organization account. And then the last thing is the enterprise portal. So when you see a URL looks like that, maybe you have your company name or you have your organization name slash portal slash home. This is the URL for ArcGIS enterprise. So when you see this one, you know it's enterprise right away. When you see this one, you know it's organization account hosted at Esri. When you see this one, you know it's a public account. And when you go to www.arcgis.com, you will see that you have two options to log in. Here you can log in to the public account and here you can log in to your organization account. And when you try to connect to enterprise portal, you will see that you receive a window asking you for your username and password that has been given to you by your network administrator. And the last slide here, we have the difference in a grid. So ArcGIS online public account is free, hosted on ArcGIS server. It doesn't have any dedicated server. You cannot have private member access. It's public and shared by everyone. You cannot do any analysis or host layers or publish your maps and data through ArcGIS Desktop or ArcGIS Pro. You have a very limited options right here. You have a security and privacy that is managed by Esri and also any latest updates or functionalities will be available for you through ArcGIS Online public account and your organization's account as well. For ArcGIS Online organization standard, you have the ability to get 21 days free trial. So in the coming videos, we will see how can we create our free trial so you can use it and you can see what functionalities and what options you have. And after this trial, you can get a custom price from Esri. So you can contact Esri and tell them what is your needs, how many users you need to add them to your organization and what kind of data you will upload to your organization. And they will tell you how much it will cost you. Uh, same thing for the premium and same thing for the enterprise. All three of them is custom pricing based on your need. And if you want to get the best option for security and privacy, you need to buy ArcGIS Enterprise and host it and manage it on your own servers, but you will not have the ability for the new functionalities. You need to upgrade your entire infrastructure and you need to buy a new version in order to have the latest and greatest functionalities. So now you know what is ArcGIS server and you know how to differentiate between ArcGIS online public account and organization account and ArcGIS enterprise. This is the matrix for the differences between them and you will be able to differentiate between them using the URL. Once you look at the URL, you will be able 
to tell what is the difference. And in the coming video, we will open the actual browser and try to connect to each one of them to see what is the difference even in the UI. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. I know this might be confusing sometime, but it's very simple once you understand how can you differentiate between them and once you understand what is what. So thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.